Mmm. Oatmeal. That's my breakfast. Uh, so my plan for today, beautiful day in North Florida. Zero percent chance of rain. So it should be hot and blaring and dry the tent out fully. Um, gonna be a beautiful day weather-wise and everything. So my plan today right now is to go eat this oatmeal and then take a shower and then head into the city. Live Oak, which isn't a city, it's a town. Just see what there is to see. Maybe I can buy some oranges or something to bring home with me. Something like that. Um, I don't know, I'll just kind of fart around. My leg is better, but it's still, I just, I feel like I have one weak leg. Like the calf is really weak. When I walk, I have like kind of a dip in my walk. And I have like kind of felt the twinge of that, that pain that I had before. So I don't want to stress it too much. So I'm not going to go on any hikes. I think that's done for the trip, <clears throat> unfortunately. So I'm going to go do some, like, you know, just touristy stuff, I think. And um, ultimately, I want to stop at Big Wood Barbecue, get some barbecue. I need more of that on this trip. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get some lunch there. That's really kind of my goal. <clears throat> and then I'll come back and start getting ready to go home. I'm thinking I'll head out in the morning. So what I could do um, is take down Sibley this afternoon while it's dry. So I don't have a, a complication of tomorrow morning having to wait for it to dry out from the dew. Yeah, I'll pack it up and spend the night in the van. So I guess this afternoon, maybe I'm just gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of that, but mostly just hang out again, kind of just sit around, read some magazines. Had a little fun doing that yesterday. So yeah, <clears throat> I tried to get to bed early this time, not stay up late and get out of, get to, get out of town in the morning. So I don't know. I'm gonna go um, get some video of some werewolves I saw over in the woods and on the way into town, and I'll bring you along if there's anything else interesting. I'll, I'll shoot some video if not. I don't know. I'll show you the tent coming down, I guess. There's some of the semi-permanent camping. Oh no! Werewolf! Run! Yeah, I guess these people are just kind of living here. This is not a safe place. Werewolves everywhere. Look at this playground. This is straight out of the 80s. Playground like I grew up playing on. It's got four slides, one in each corner. Four sets of swings. It's got two of these jungle gyms. Somebody's talking to me. It's got one of those spinny things out in the middle. <clears throat> Let's go for a swing. Solid old construction. I wonder how many thousands of kids have gone down this slide. Woo! Whoa. I got some speed there. Oh, oh mom, you're going on this part. Get you good and dizzy. This is kind of a cool area over here they got. Looks like if you have horses, you can rent a site where you have a pen here to keep them in. There's also stables over there and the, over there. Yeah. This guy has been watching me for days. Now he's talking to me. This is even more permanent camping they got, basically. I don't know, he calls like prefab homes. But then right here, you see right right in between the car and those are campsites for um, you know like other types of campers. It's just empty right now. We've got a ton of these out here and uh Trail Angel told me that some people bought these. They want to be out here all the time. They live out here. Otherwise I think you can rent them. <clears throat> There's a whole another row of them on the way out too. So many camping options around here. Oops, I just drove past the shower. Turning around. This is kind of like that movie The Shining, you know, where the family goes and they're caretakers at an old abandoned hotel. Just walking around in this place here with a shirt off like I own the place. There's not been another person in here in several days that I've been here. The mom, this is the rocking horse toy that I was telling you about.
That's a wild ride right there. Had to come out and see the river and the bridge one last time. So one thing they have a lot of in this part of Florida are springs. There's all these springs everywhere. And there's one right here, Suwannee Springs. So I thought I'd go check it out. See what it's about. Right here by my campsite. Uh, there we go. There we go. Let's go see what the bus is about. So apparently this place was a big tourist attraction back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. They even had a hotel out here. Because the springs could cure everything. Look at all this. I'm wondering what, what nervous prostration is. Maybe I have that. <laughs> oh. And there's what it used to look like. You'd go down in the springs and sit there and get cured. So that's it. That's the old spring house. You can see there's an archway, there's stairs going down, but I guess the river's so high it doesn't look like much. This is what people were traveling to get to way back then, 100 years ago. And there's the bridge, the spray painted bridges over there that I was just on a, a few minutes ago. There's the county seat, Suwannee County. Nice old building. Southern sweet tea, red beans, fries. Mm. Big Wood Barbecue and Grill, Live Oak, Florida. Thumbs up. Better than the other barbecue I had on this trip. I might even come back for dinner. Okay, back at the campsite. This is kind of a melancholy mood. Final day of the vacation. Grogu's getting kind of sad about it. Um, it's always sad to wrap up a vacation. Um, this will be my last video, unless something really exciting happens on the way home. I don't plan on making videos because who wants to see me just drive for two days? So, um, other thing to note is I plan on downloading these videos to my computer when I get home and then probably just taking them off of YouTube. They weren't really meant for the general public, they were meant for you guys, my friends and family. So, just to know what's going on. So, just a note on that. And I was just thinking, you know, kind of reflecting on the week, thought I'd do like a best and worst type thing. Definitely the highlight of the trip was that hike at Payne's Prairie Preserve, La Chula, is that what it's called? Something like that, where we went out, I went out and saw the alligators that were laying out there, like right in front of me, and there's all these eagles and hawks, and there's those wading birds pulling fish right out of the pond there and eating them, it was something else. Definitely that was the highlight of the trip. Um, I also really enjoyed walking down the beach in, in Cocoa Beach just I don't know I like that I didn't really like Daytona Beach as much but that was fun um, it was a good time all the little hikes were nice I went on the state parks have been really good um, that state park there at Payne's Prairie I'd go back there again there and because there's so many nice hikes around there and there's that swamp full of gators and it's right on the edge of Gainesville which was another one of the highlights was that that Korean restaurant that I went to that was really good um, I like to go back and, and do a, do that whole section, the whole part of the trip again. Um, I don't know, as far as, oh, I like seeing the white squirrel and seeing that white deer just kind of coming upon them out in the, out in the swamp there was really, really cool. Um, things that could have been better, the weather, you know, there were two major storms blew through Florida while I was down here and that's not what I was hoping for. I also wish I had been in better physical condition before I came down here. You know, if I was in better condition, whatever happened to my leg, which is still quite a problem, uh, wouldn't have happened, probably. You know, and I could have done, I could be out hiking still, um, backpacking. So really disappointed there. If I did come back to do that, I would like to not do the same section I went on because it was near I-75 and I could hear the highway almost the whole time and it kind of ruined the atmosphere a little bit. So I think if I did that again, maybe, you know, come here and hike, I go the other direction, away from I-75. And this place is interesting. It's like, I don't know, like you see all those trees over there. That's not just like some random woods. Those are campsites. 
there's tons of campsites all in there, and I'm just the only one here. It's weird. Whereas the state parks, I could hardly find a place to camp. I don't know, but I think this is something I might want to do in the future. I'm planning, you know, plotting in my mind next February. Come down here for a week. It seems like it's the weather's perfect. I'm sitting here in t-shirt and shorts, enjoying the sun. Grogu, yeah, yeah, Grogu likes it, you know. Um, so yeah, I don't know if any of you want to come down, join me. Maybe we could make some kind of group outing of it. So I got the van all packed up. Um, I'm going to sleep on the ground this time instead of on the bed. I'm using the bed as a shelf instead to hold everything out of the way, and I still have everything in the van. Um, I just need more room to roll around than I had um, when I was up on that bed. Uh, this is all that's left of the camp, basically just the kitchen. I'm going to make some chili later, and then I can pack all of that away in the car. Um, and then in the morning I can just get up, take a quick shower, and hit the road, eat some, eat some of those trail mix bars on the way get rolling and hopefully get past Nashville and then take a hotel for the night and then head the rest of the way into Madison, into Black Earth. So hopefully be home Thursday night. So I guess my final word would be this has been a great trip. I'm really glad I did it. I had a lot of good experiences, a lot of neat things happened, learned some new skills. Um, yeah, and I hope you all enjoyed watching the videos and following along with me. You know, maybe someday we could go on an adventure together.